This is Steve Ashheim from Deicide. In case those of you don't know who he is, how are you today, Steve? I'm pretty good. How are you today? Good. You look tan for being in Germany or doing a European tour. What's up with that? Uh, it's really sunny here today, so I went walking around, I went fishing, and I uh, saw a, 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 a longboat. Yeah. So walking around, it was a good, one. good day. You know, it's great out here. So. Are you part, like, Scandinavian with a last name like Ashheim? I am, in fact. I am Norwegian. My grandparents are from here. Uh, Stavanger was kind of their city, and they, they came from up north. There's a little village somewhere that kind of sounds like my name. So, everyone asked? Yes. Thank you. That's so cool. You guys are currently touring on To Hell With God. And how has that been going so far? What has the fan response been? Uh, the fans love it. <laughs> really, they do. Uh, uh, album's been out a couple years, and we did a couple of U.S. runs for it. And this is our first time in Europe for the record. Um, and, you know, fans like the record. We've been playing a lot of songs off it. And um, they dig it. They know it. Uh, they're glad to hear it. It's like sometimes uh, everyone is psyched about the classics, and when you play new songs for people, they kind of fade. But you know they're not fading on the new songs. They know them, uh, and they're digging them. So it's it's a good response. What would you say is one of the most um, important musical developments since Scars of the Crucifix? Uh, uh, well, gosh, you know we got some guitarists in Scars of the Crucifix. I think. Um, we always had crazy leads and stuff, and I think we're trying to maintain that, uh, but just push it higher and farther. And, you know, we've just been, um, God, the main thing is just continuing. Um, Scars was a long time ago almost. Yeah. It's almost 10 years ago now. I still have that T-shirt. Yeah, it's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, you know, just, just the fact that we can kind of still put out records and hopefully not repeat ourselves to a degree that is... Uh, just like a blatant ripoff. I mean, everyone kind of has their thing, but musically, we'll just try and still be death metal, not evolve or experiment too much. Just give the fans what they just still what we'd like to do, uh, which is just pure death metal. We'll crank it out and, you know, hit the road with it and keep it going. So I know you like the new CD a lot. What would you say one of your favorite songs would be to play live or what? by yourself? In your room, in your basement, in your backyard, by the pool. They're fun to play anywhere. I know. <laughs> yeah, we play a bunch of new songs. But like I said, five. We start off with Savior. That's a good one. They play that one a lot on, on like the satellite radio in the U.S. So I figured let's play that. Then um, uh, do Hang in Agony, like David Carradine. Or Until You're Dead. <laughs> Another joke. I threw one in on you. <laughs> David Carradine fan. <laughs> Um, and uh, 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 Witness of Death um, uh, um, uh, Conviction uh, which we did that video for yes. the Claymation video so we play that one live too uh, like I say, fans really dig that song like I say they dig in the new record and you know that song has a real old school feel even though it's a new song um, Jack wrote it and yeah fans love that song I mean they eat it up we finish and there it's, they cheer like it's an old one Sometimes. That's good. Well, that's the important thing. Not to put them to sleep, but for them to We're cheer like it's old stuff. Put them to sleep. Yes. That's right. Unless you, like, beat someone up. But what are your thoughts on Inferno? It's our first time here. Right. Uh, but I've been hearing about it for years. And I know how in Europe, it's like the festivals have been going on so long. It's like they compete for dominance. So, like, 20 years ago it was Dynamo, and then it became Wacken, and then soon it will be whatever the new... F it's like the country, it's about like uh, civic pride and metal and what you can do for the scene. So hopefully Inferno is on its way to being uh, one of the, you know, hopefully they're in the, they're in the, they're in the fight for biggest festival of um, the future of Europe. You know, we'll see. It'll be fun to see. Um, and it's great here. Like the whole country is behind metal <laughs> somehow. <laughs> I was reading how they do foreign exchange programs with other countries and they ship the metal around the world, <laughs> encouraging that. other countries to do metal. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Black I like metal that. metal is a huge export. It's like fish, oil, and black metal. Out of Norway. Norway. <laughs> That's true. Oh, it's been cool so far. Like, I've been to festivals around the world. I think festivals in Europe are run pretty well. 
Do you think you like playing so far? I mean, you've obviously played festivals in Europe. What do you think the differences between festivals in the States versus Europe? Well, in, um, in the States, it's, it's all like Bonnaroo and like hippie fests. And, <laughs> and they're not like, they're not big metal festivals. I mean, Europe is the home of giant metal festivals because that's kind of the national music. That's just how it is. You know, people respect and appreciate metal here. And in the States, it's kind of, you're, you're pushed out to the fringes of the music business and looked down upon. And it's not like really like that over here. Uh, that's why uh, the metal festivals rule over here. And I don't think it'll get to be quite like that in the States ever. Yeah. But we'll see. You know, keep trying. Would you say each band member contributes to the writing process? Because you're talking about doing a new album. What does everyone do? Well, we all uh, can come up with riffs. So it really helps, especially with the two new guys in the band. I like Jack. He's been in a while, eight years or so. We just got... Um, uh, another new guitarist, uh, Kevin Curian, who was in my other band, Order of Any. Uh, we did a couple records of that together. And so now he's in DSI full time, and he's a writing machine. I mean, he wrote all the stuff for Order of Any. Uh, so we got some songs out of him for the DSI record. We got a couple out of Jack for the record. Glenn wrote a couple parts. He hasn't done that in years. I put two, two and a half songs in. So it's a well, uh, like, it's not going to be one sided material wise. It's going to be well, um, broad version, uh, you know, it, it's, I don't want to use the word fresh, <laughs> fresh, because okay. it's you not want fresh, to. but it is, <laughs> it's a good combination of everyone's styles, you know, uh, and it'll, uh, but it's still definitely deicide at heart, I mean, it's unmistakable, so, yeah, it, I'm just glad I didn't have to write it all myself this time. Yeah, I know, that feels like so difficult. <laughs> What would you say some of the hardest parts were in Deicide's career and some of the better moments? Like when you didn't feel like breaking up married life. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's not easy. Uh, but yeah, we've had our a ton of ups and downs, maybe more so than other bands, maybe less. But, you know, we've had a major band split. Uh, we actually have broken up several times. We just don't go around talking about it. <laughs> so I it's like we end up just getting together and... and you know, continuing on. I think we're going to break up, and then we get offered a record deal. So we do a record. Um, that's just life. You know? oh, oh, oh. And being in a band for uh, was it 2003, and we started in 87 or 88. We started doing shows around. Well, that's 25 years. Uh, you're bound to run into a bunch of problems. But you know, it's this is what. So like, oh, let's go do my other job that I have. I don't have another job, so what, this is what I do. So I will just keep on trucking. You don't have a day job? No. How do you pay your bills then? By DSI. Oh. By rocking. I pay for life with my rock and metal. <laughs> now, if you weren't playing in DSI, what would you do? Oh, I don't know. You know, I did get offered a job managing a titty bar. I might do that. You'd be good for that, I think. I could, I, I could make it work. Yeah. Are you like married or something, though? No. No. Okay. No. That yeah, because you could be married and do that shit. Well, it depends on your wife. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you have a cool one or not. That's right. That's right. Now, who's some of your favorite black metal bands? Well, you know, I like. Um, <laughs> All the old bands, like when we first started coming around and there was that thing with black metal, it's like all those guys, like we know them all and talk to them and toured with them all over the years. Uh, we toured with uh, Marduk and um, uh, they're cool guys. And um, uh, um, uh, Mayhem, I know Attila well, he's a good friend. Um, uh, Immolation are great, Kev really likes them. Not Immolation. Um, Yes, thank you. <laughs> with the cat makeup? That's right, with the cat makeup. <laughs> and of course, um, uh, 1349, they're pretty good. So what are the plans after Inferno Festival? Do you have any touring plans for the States, or what's up? When we get back uh, from the tour, we're going to uh, finish working on the new record. We have a new record coming up. All the music is done and recorded. Um, we actually can't get back into the studio for about another month or six weeks. That'll give Glenn time to write the lyrics, get it that all situated, 
and hopefully we'll be done recording by the summer and uh, can mix it get it out by the end of the year pretty quick turnaround and what label are you guys on at this point we're on century media uh, just our second record for them mm -hmm. and, uh, they're cool guys and um, it's been going well so far with them so hopefully the best for the future with them. goes into a normal day of steve ashheim you're blushing well you nailed me on that <laughs> no you know i uh exactly what you expect. I sit around, uh, I stay up all night, I sleep all day, I work out, I uh, play music, listen to music, go to uh, 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 bars and shows, mm -hmm. uh, just kind of hang around, you know, have fun, take it easy. Cool. Do it again. And do you have any messages for your fans? Yeah, new record's coming. Um, you know, we got a new tight band together. Um, and it's really, it's never sounded tighter live. Just come out to the gigs. It's going to be worth it. We've got a great set list. Everything is tight sounding. It's really good. So come out to the gigs. You'll dig it. It's awesome. And What's the website? A website. Uh, website. Uh, I think we have a Facebook page. Um, uh, yeah, you know, just Google us. Figure something out. Uh, yeah, I'll go into the Google search engine and Google the site. I'm pretty sure you have a website. It's and a, yeah. It's a Facebook, I think. There's a should be an official uh, DSI Facebook. Yeah. Uh, look for that. And just click like. Yeah, it's, like us. <laughs> I like you guys. I like you. You guys are awesome. Thanks. I like you too. Thank Appreciate you. it. Well, thanks for the interview. You guys play an awesome show. Thanks for having me and uh, enjoy the show.